Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. Several years ago, a man and woman ended up at the hospital emergency room, each one having a gunshot wound. It seems that that morning, uh, the man had woken up late for his very first day at work. His wife had forgotten to set the alarm. So to show his displeasure, he shot her in the arm. Well, not to be outdone, she got up, ran into another room, grabbed a shotgun, and came back and shot him in the arm. So here they are, both at the ER. The nurse who was uh, taking care of them was getting some paperwork and stuff ready, and she overheard a conversation between the two that you would swear would come only out of a country song. The deputy sheriff was separating them, and they were each handcuffed to their respective stretcher. And uh, the husband began by saying, I love you, baby. I'm sorry I shot you. To which the woman replied, I love you too, baby. And I'm sorry I shot you. This is a true story. You know, I don't think they really understood what love is. Or they have a very warped idea of what love is. Sad thing is, is that there are many in our world who have that same view. They don't quite understand what love really is. Today, our verse for the day is found in Romans chapter 13, verse 10, and it says this. It says, love does no harm to its neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Do you get that part? It says, love does no harm to its neighbor. You know, when you love someone, you want to do what's best for them, what's right for them. And so we don't do anything to harm them. We don't harm them physically. We don't harm them uh, emotionally. We don't harm them mentally. We don't harm them spiritually. And yet, there are a lot of people out there who will tell people that they love them. And yet, they abuse them either physically, emotionally, uh, mentally, or even sometimes spiritually. And that all comes out of a, a warped idea of what love is all about. Because love does no harm. When we love someone, we don't want to do anything that would hurt them. We don't do anything intentionally to hurt them. And we do what we can to not hurt them unintentionally. Because we don't want anything to hurt the person. Probably one of the greatest definitions of love I ever heard was that it is the commitment to care and to act like you care even when you don't feel like it. You see, we are told to love one another. Matter of fact, in the verse right before it, in verse 9, we read this. It says, The commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be are summed up in this one rule. Love your neighbor as yourself. See, we are commanded to love our neighbor. And so since it's a command, it means that love then, this kind of love, is an act of the will. It's something that we decide to do. It's not based on feelings. It's not based on some kind of chemistry. It's based on our deciding that we are going to do what's best for someone else. And so we do. We care about people and we act like it, even when we don't feel like it. And so we do no harm to our neighbor. And you think about that. All those things that were mentioned, do not steal, do not uh, commit adultery, do not murder, do not covet, all those are things that when we do those things, it is showing a lack of love for someone else. So when we hurt someone, whether we do it intentionally or unintentionally, it can be very much a lack of love. Something else in that definition of love that I, I want to maybe just add just a little bit to it. And that is that it is commitment to care and act like you care even when you don't feel like it and 
even when the other person doesn't deserve it. You know, today, there are a lot of people out there saying a lot of mean things, hurtful things. There are people who are doing harm to others physically because they don't like that person for some reason or another. They don't think that person deserves it because they have a different political philosophy, because they um, look different than they do, because they come from a different place than they do. And so they don't think the other person deserves for them to care about them. But you see, we as Christians are called to love all people, whether they deserve it or not. Jesus Christ said that we were to love one another as he has loved us. And let's face it, we didn't deserve to be loved by him. It says in Romans chapter 5 that while we were still God's enemies, Christ died for us. While we were still his enemies, he died for us. He showed us love. He showed that he cared. Not because we deserved it but because we needed it. And so I hope we'll think about that, that if we really love someone, we're not going to do anything to harm them. We're not going to hurt them, not intentionally. And we're going to do everything that we can to not hurt them unintentionally. And so that means that we aren't going to do certain things, but I think on the other side, it means that we start doing good things for them, to show them kindness, to show them a mercy, that maybe they would not get otherwise. So let's love one another. Let's love our neighbor as ourself. To treat others the way that we'd want to be treated. Thank you for joining us for Thursday Thoughts. I hope that you'll join us again next Thursday when we come back together again and we'll look at another verse of the day and just give some thoughts on it and how it can help us in our daily living. Also invite you to come and and worship with us on Sunday mornings at 1045. Uh, We have live worship here at the church and encourage you to come and be a part of that if you don't have a church home. But if not, we also will be streaming it live on YouTube and hopefully Facebook and our webpage as well. But uh, it will be on YouTube. Just look us up, Brooksville Christian Church, Brooksville, Kentucky. And uh, 1045, we will be on there. Uh, We are continuing our series on Praise Him, Praise Him, where we look at some hymns and see the scriptural themes that are in them. And so this week it's going to be on In the Garden. And so I hope that you'll join us if you can. I I will say this, that it's possible that I might not be there. Our daughter is expecting a baby, and so any day now, so we may be there. But uh, we hope you'll still tune in. So until next Thursday, uh, at least, uh, we we hope to see you then. And so take care. May God bless you.